Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to use a rotary cutter. Um, to use a rotary cutter, you need a rotary cutter. This is the Fiskars and this is the Olfa. I prefer the Olfa brand, but the Fiskars you just press down to use the blade, and the Olfa you pull back on the black part to reveal the blade. So we'll set this one aside since I don't like it. You also need some sort of clear plastic cutting mat. Uh, the 6 by 24 inch is by far my favorite. And then you need a self-healing um, mat to go underneath. This is a, a cutting ruler and then the self-healing mat. So those are the three tools you need. And then you need a piece of fabric. Um, what you do to cut, to get started, you fold your fabric in half so the selvages are touching. The selvage is the finished edge from the factory. So selvage to selvage, all the way along the length of the fabric. It doesn't matter if the selvages are perfectly even, but you want the whole thing nice and flat. Then you, with your fabric, your raw edge on the right and your fabric going off to the left, you put your ruler over the bulk of your fabric, and you line up on the folded side along one of the black lines in the ruler. So you're going to line up the line with the fold perfectly um, and make sure it's flat. Okay, so this is lined up across one of the black lines. Then you hold your ruler with your left hand, being careful that your fingers aren't over the edge, and you may want to put some of your fingers onto the fabric and just press down for a secure fit. Then expose the blade on your rotary cutter and push the blade away from you. Then before you move the ruler, go ahead and pull this away. My blade's really sharp, but if your blade started to get dull, it may be stuck in a few spots. And in that case, you would want to just go along it again in the same direction. You never want to do a sawing motion or pull back always away from you in one smooth motion all the way through the whole cut. So now this is trash. The um, Now to start cutting strips. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but it's how I always do it. I go ahead and I flip my entire piece of fabric over, being careful to keep those edges lined up. So now you can see my fabric is going off to the right and my cut is on the left. And when I set the rotary cutter down, I always make sure to close the blade. That's a good habit to get into. Okay, so my edges are still lined up. I, if I'm cutting, in this case I want a two and a half inch strip. So I count over the lines on the rulers are every quarter inch, and the black lines are one inch with the orange lines at quarter inch. So I count over to two and a half inches right there. If I was cutting a lot of these, I would put a piece of masking tape at two and a half inches to make it easier, but I'm just cutting one strip. I line up at two and a half inches all the way along the cut edge of the fabric that I just cut, and at the bottom I make sure the fold is perfectly perpendicular so that each one is nice and straight. You'll notice that the ruler is over the strip I'm cutting, partly because that's how you measure it, and partly because then the piece that you are you want to keep is protected from your cut in case you go crooked. Again, expose the blade, hold your ruler down with your left hand, and push away from yourself all the way through. And again, I always pull away the fabric to make sure I got a clean cut before I move the ruler. It's hard to light it up again. Then you should have a nice straight fabric with no V. If you start to get the ruler starts to get crooked, you'll notice you'll start, you'll start making strips that are in V's, but this one's nice and straight. That's how you do it.